hi guys my name is Alex in this video I am explaining how we can add an SES endpoint to a server which is not having the internet so in a production environment we may need to use email notifications but uh, we cannot assure that the server is going to ha going to uh, have uh, have the internet access um, so in this scenario adding the uh, endpoints the SES endpoint to the VPC can do the trick let me show you the step-by-step um, -step instructions for that so first of all this is the server basically I have deployed two servers uh, one with internet access and another one without the internet access so did the remote desktop from the uh, the one to this server so you can hear you can see here it is not having the internet access and um, just opening the command prompt then try to ping the Google DNS okay it's not resolving uh, now let's uh, go to the AWS console Alright, so here uh, I have two instances running. Uh, the first step we have to make sure um, the security group should be having the um, inbound port. But before that, let me quickly show you the SES. So I'm just uh, search for SES, and uh, it returned. It took me to the uh, um, SES page, and now if you scroll down, you can see the SMTP endpoint. So let's try doing a telnet to this endpoint through port 587 which is an SSL port okay it's not uh, resolving now let's take a duplicate of this and uh, let's go to the EC2 select the instance now let's go to the security group and here in the inbound rules we have to add port 587 so select custom TCP and specific port 587 um, and uh, from we have three options custom anywhere and my IP uh, let's do one thing before this one because I missed a step uh, let's go back to the EC2 instance we need to note down the private IP address of this specific instance so I'm copying the private uh, IPv4 then going back to the security group um, then editing the inbound rules adding a rule should be custom TCP and here the port should be 587 and I'm choosing the source as custom and giving the um, private IPv4 now I'm saving the rule um, so let's try it's not going to resolve but I'm just showing you the steps when after adding the port in the inbound role it's not going to add this endpoint for that so you can see it here it's not resolving it's not uh, reaching the SMTP server so now we have to take the VPC um, so there can be multiple VPC in a production environment let's go to the EC2 select the instance go to the VPC ID then from there go to the endpoints here you have to create an endpoint choose AWS services and here let's type email and hit enter so it will show the 
um, SMTP option select that one and select the availability zones enable for this endpoint enable DNS name should be enabled uh, then select the security group so for the security group you can simply find out the security group from the EC2 uh, instance information so go uh, after selecting the instances go to the security and here you can see the security group which ends with the 17B5 so I'm selecting the 17B5 and now uh, I'm creating the endpoint okay it's uh, showing us created and obviously it will take some time um, for the actual deployment so the status is pending let's wait for some more time I'm pausing the video for now okay uh, the endpoint is created now you can see the status is available now if you go back to the VM and uh, try to do the telnet to the SMTP server you can see it's resolving so basically this server still not having the internet access but it can reach out to the SMTP server that means this from the server we can send out emails um, so now we, you can create um, uh, an SMTP credentials from the SES settings uh, I will explain that process in a separate video so for the users who, who is already having the SES uh, or the SMTP credentials they can directly attach the endpoint to the uh, SES endpoint to the VPC um, and also open the necessary port in the security group in order to send out e emails using the SES from a server which is not having the internet access thanks guys thanks for watching the video